It's Monster Monday, guys. 31 days of boo rays. <laughs> I get you every time, bitch. Listen, this is the Invisible Man. It's Monster Monday. We're talking about Universal Monsters. Really exciting shit. Um, the Invisible Man. <clears throat> now listen to me when I say this. I have way more nostalgia, and I've seen the Frankenstein movies way more times. So I would be tempted to say that I like the Frankenstein movies the best, but then all of a sudden Creature from the Black Lagoon. That is probably my favorite because I love the way the creature looks. But then I saw The Invisible Man. My God, this is the one that's so slept on, guys. My wife made me watch it. She said, listen here, bitch. You don't be fucking watching The Invisible Man, but you call yourself a horror fan? And I was like, yeah, don't beat me again. And she just whooped my ass, and then she made me watch this. And uh, it's a really, really, it's great. Like, I would say just in terms of the film, this is the best of the Universal Monster movies. It's the best filmmaking. It's got the best special effects. Um, again, like I prefer Creature from the Black Lagoon because he's my favorite monster. And then I prefer, um, you know, Frankenstein because it's one I grew up watching is those... The three Frankenstein movies, um, the Karloff trilogy, but The Invisible Man is so good, and especially for its time, like the invisibility effects are amazing. The way they did it was um, he put on uh, black velvet, and then they wrapped bandages around him, and then when he unwrapped the bandages, they just had the film negative, so it would, you know, because it's black and white, so it would be like nothing is there. I could be wrong, but that's how I understand it based off the Wikipedia article. Um, cause I was, after this movie, I was like, this movie came out, I think it's 1930. I'm like, they just blew my mind. How'd they do the invisibility effects? Um, this is, this is really, really good. It's got a good kind of a comedic tone too. Um, another thing is if you're watching these universal movies with like your family, you have younger kids. Um, I think that this one is one of the better ones to show them, to start them into universal monsters. It's a little dark, but, um, the humor and stuff like that and the special effects. I know like I showed it to my nephew and out of all the Universal Monster movies I've shown him, he was the most interested in this one. Uh, just because I feel like it's it's the most watchable. It feels the least dated. Um, I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, that's part of the charm of the old movies. Um, but while we're talking about this, I felt like I could bring up as well the uh, 2020 remake. Um, the 2020 remake is great. It's not nearly as good as the original. And it almost... I feel like they could have not called it The Invisible Man. And it still would have been... A great movie because it stand on stands on its own and in a way that's what you want from a remake you want to stand on its own and not just be compared to the original so it succeeds but i don't know it, it, at the same time it is different enough kind of like the way hollow man yeah it's the invisible man but it's called hollow man so you don't go with that expectation of like the bandages on the face and all that kind of stuff um but this is a really great movie too great special effects great really suspenseful moments in this one um I, that's what i liked about the most was like the ability to build suspense <clears throat> was uh really good and you could tell uh lee winnell you know, the guy who's behind Saw and uh, Upgrade, which is a really underseen, really, really good movie. You can tell he was behind the camera because it's really visually striking and really suspenseful. So it's a good one. But <clears throat> this is, uh, you know, watch this after you've watched the original. you got to watch the original. you got to pay respect. Uh, it's a great movie. It's actually um, from the same director, James Whale, as uh, the, Frankens the first, I think he did the first two Frankenstein movies, Frankenstein and Bride. I'm not sure about Son. Of Frankenstein. You should comment in the uh, comment section below and let me know. But uh, yeah, Invisible Man, that's my pick for Monster Monday. Watch it with your family. Get spooked.